Winter 2018 is in full swing, so you know what that means. The Winter Olympics are right here. So what's my favorite Olympic sport? Is it snowboarding? Speed skating? Standing outside in 20 degree weather in a t-shirt like a moron? Maybe. But no, actually it's curling. Now hold up, hold up. I hear you laughing, but let me explain. Curling is awesome, and I'm gonna tell you about it. So first, let's talk about the arena and the rules. Curling takes place on a 150 foot long ice track, or about the length of half a football field. Teams take turns sliding 14 curling stones down the track to try and get it close to the center. A quick tangent, let's talk about these curling stones. These things are pure hunks of granite coming in at about 40 pounds. These one by three foot rocks are really hard to get a hold of. They come from an obscure island off the coast of Scotland and a full set of them can cost up to $40,000. It's weirdly pricey. So the team that gets the stone closest to the center gets the point. And the team with the most points at the end of 15 frames, kind of like innings in baseball, is the winner. And you would think, big deal, me and George rule shuffleboard Thursdays at the rec center. I would rock at this sport, just a bigger version of that, but no, you would be missing the intricacies of the sport many call chess on ice. So let's talk about those intricacies. The ice on the track is pebbled to try and decrease the friction to make stones slide longer. The main way you have to control the sport is through two ways. The first is friction, as a low surface area causes the stones to well curl. By using equipment like the curling brooms, you can decrease the friction caused by the stone, allowing it to go straighter and farther. Secondly, throwers can also spin the stone, causing it to curl in a specific angle or direction to try and get it into a specific area. There is also the complexities that come with actually playing the board. Let's look at this situation. You can see that both yellow and red have made some really nice opening throws, and red has made a really nice guard shot to try and protect its close lead. If you're yellow, what do you do in this position? You can try and make a nice wraparound shot, trying to knock their stone out. Maybe you try and pinch it, make it hard for the red team to remove your stone without damaging their own position. Or do you just throw your own guard shot and protect your own pretty solid throw? And this is just a simple board state. In the higher levels and deeper into the game, boards can get all sorts of complicated. So there you guys go. Why curling is the best Olympic sport ever. Now, excuse me, I gotta go inside take a warm bath and drink some hot chocolate. It's really cold outside and standing out here is kind of overstated its welcome. Have a good one, guys. Mm -hmm.